parallelism, Alashma. Poor Andy, he's stuck on a plane at 30,000 feet in front of the toddler from hell. So far, the demon child has kicked the back of Andy's seat, thrown applesauce in Andy's hair, and screamed bloody murder. Oh, and the little brat has also engaged in parallelism. Where are his parents? All right, we say that items in a list are parallel when they are all structured the same way. Items are formatted either as complete sentences or sentence fragments, and each item begins with the same sort of word, be it verbs or nouns or whatever. We see parallel construction not only in bulleted lists, but in complete sentences about passengers trapped in a jet with Satan's spawn. <laughs> Say that Andy, in order to distract himself from the hellion in C-13D, makes a list of all the things he's gonna do when he finally reaches Puerto Vallarta. Andy's bulleted list would read like this. In Puerto Vallarta, I plan to relax on the beach with a good book, eat a gourmet meal by the sea, visit a nature preserve. Note how these three items on the list are all sentence fragments and they all begin with present tense verbs. Ladies and gentlemen, parallel construction achieved. But dumb. Andy could just as easily make a list of all the things the hell-raising toddler has thrown at him since they took off from Houston. Cheerios, applesauce, crayons, and poop. All right, once again, Andy's showing us he's got this parallel construction thing down. The four items on his list are single words, and they are all nouns. As we mentioned earlier, parallelism doesn't just occur in bulleted lists, we also see it in sentences. Say Beelzebub's littlest minion here in 13D has a list of his own, only it reads like this. This morning I will embarrass my parents, make the guy in front of me rue the day he was born, and drive every other passenger on this plane insane with my screaming. Here we have a single sentence about evil intentions. This sentence includes three future tense parallel verbs, will embarrass, make, and drive. Note that only the first verb, embarrass, gets the future tense denoting will in front of it. We don't need will in front of make and drive because the sentence's parallel construction implies that make and drive are really will make and will drive. Got that? Speaking of lists, here's one from the flight attendant who forgot to eat breakfast this morning. As soon as I get off this plane, I'm going to eat a hamburger, fries, and get a piece of apple pie to go. Uh-oh, looks like our flight attendant doesn't quite get parallel construction. She's combined two phrases beginning with the verbs eat and get with the noun fries. Also, we're pretty sure they don't serve apple pie at the Port of Ireland Airport, but uh, you could check us on that. Parallelism is what we use to structure lists and sentences containing lists so that each item starts with the same kind of word and has the same structure. Now, if only little Lucifer would finish the flight traveling perpendicular to the plane, Andy would be oh so much a happier person. <laughs> What did the buffalo say to his son as he left for school? Bye, son. Okay, bad joke, but if you survived it, how about clicking the subscribe button below? And if you're looking for more jokes from yours truly, why not check out our website at www.schmoop.com? And if you want to get updates on what's new, well, check us out on Facebook and Twitter, too. Please check our Facebook and Twitter pages, please.